so, right, so here we go. A student constructs that cell, and the chromium electrode gains in mass, and the other metal loses mass. We need to identify that metal. So, the first thing I would do is I would work out your moles of chromium. Um, chromium is 1.56 divided by the molar mass of chromium, which is 52. That gives you 0.028. Now, you know in this reaction, chromium 3 plus has gained three electrons to become chromium metal. I know it's gone that way because chromium has gained mass. X, metal X, must have <coughs> um, gone to X2 plus and gain, oh sorry, and got two electrons there. Why do I know it's X2 plus? Because of the SO4. Now, I've got three electrons here and two electrons here, so I need to balance it. If I times this by two, that becomes two, that becomes six, and that becomes two. Times this one by three, three, six. I add them together. How do you know that it comes three Because um, I formed X <coughs> sulfate, and I do the charge on sulfate is SO4, two minus, and therefore X must be X two plus. So, if that was my moles of chromium, x moles is going to be that number divided by 2 times by 3, which gives me 0 0.042. And then it's just the simple case, your molar mass is going to be mass over moles. They've told me it loses 1.021. That equates to 0 0.042, and therefore it comes to 24.3. And therefore, if you look at the good tables, it's magnesium. Oh, uh, well, yeah, so it's acid time. So, first of all, <coughs> first one, um, I'm reacting calcium carbonate here with sulfur dioxide gas, water, I make calcium ah. yeah. plus CO2 I there. Got, I got that right. Oh, no, I, 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 I All I did was I wrote it the opposite way. Okay, I'll come and have a look at that maybe. Yeah. What is meant by weak acid? A weak acid is partially dissociated. What is the <laughs> equation? Okay. Right. HSO3 minus will dissociate into H plus and SO3 2 um, minus. So, like, they don't mean the salt? No, it's the oh, acid. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> An aqueous solution, a solution, 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 oxidized magnesium constructed full. Now, the full equation is quite, well, relatively useful. It's going to be that it tells you it produces uh, oxidized form, it forms hydrogen gas, doesn't it? But MgSO3 plus calcium SO3 plus H2. Um, that is quite, oh, wait a minute. Calcium, what? Oh, yeah, why it's calcium. Why are you calcium? Have I done that wrong? Yeah. Is it CA plus? Oh, there are different. There are different ways. So if I've marked it right for you. No, you didn't mark it right. Okay. <laughs> there are different ways. You could just have CA two first. Yeah. But you've got. That's it. The the ionic equation is just magnesium reacting with H plus ions to give you Mg two plus plus hydrogen gas. I feel like, how do you know that the acids are in that way? Like, why is it not just one calcium metal? Yeah. Mg, why SO3, SO3 minus can act as an acid or a base? Explain this statement. So the first one, I mean, there are, again, there are different equations for this. 
So this reacting as a base means it's accepted an H plus to give you H2SO3. It reacting as an acid, will it be donating H plus to hydroxide to give you water plus SO3 to minus. So that's it's acting as an Oh, have I done that wrong? Yeah, it just gives off an acid. Yeah, you yeah, get it wrong. Oh yeah, that's it acting as a base, and that's it acting as an acid. That's it, it's donating its proton to that, to give you water. Yeah. Okay, so the first, uh, well another big calculation. Um, it's not too bad, I need to determine the molar mass of an acid HA. <coughs> They've given me Ka and they give me the pH. If they've given me pH, it means I can work out my concentration of H+. And they give me Ka, so obviously I need to use Ka in some way. Um, if you notice, it all works out quite nice as well, so it's as one decimeter cube. So the, first of all, if you work out your concentration of H+, which is 10 to the minus 3.2, which gives me 3.02 times 10 to the minus four, you know that Ka is H plus A minus over H A. If you bung those numbers in, Ka is 1.51 times 10 to the minus 5. We assume that that is the same. So that equals 3.02 times 10 to the minus 4 squared over your concentration of H A. So H A is... 9.12 times 10 to the minus 8 over 1.51 times 10 to the minus 5, which gives me 0 0.0604. And so that's the number of moles in one decimeter cubed. I know that that was originally came from that mass. So the molar mass is mass over moles which equals uh, 0.7369 over 0.00604, which gives me 122. You know that 122 contains a COOH group, so if you take that away, you end up it being about 77. If you then play around with carbons and hydrogen, you should end up with being C6A5. C O O H. All right, guys, we're almost there. Question eight. No. Have I? Oh, okay. Yeah. So this one. Shh. Look at me. Why a lot of you got this one wrong? So why was the, was the student correct in rejecting measures? Um, no, he was incorrect because as you continue. <coughs> to add a base, the acid will dissociate. So it doesn't matter because the acid will just continue, to, it's an equilibrium, it just continues to dissociate until all the H plus has been released. So he was he was incorrect. Oh, right, okay, so nice and easy, but this one, um, you should be happy doing this. 3S2, 3P6, 3D2. Why does vanadium not form ions with an oxidation grace of five? A lot of you did this right. Vanadium, if it, vanadium's got five electrons, hasn't he, in his 4S and 3D subshells. If he went to six, he would be changing shells and it's just too great an energy change. So that's why. He's used up all his electrons um, that he has access to. So what do you mean of saying he? <laughs> Sorry? You, you say he when you talk about formula. So... How do we put that without saying he well, changes? So and he, and then, then well, you, you can just say, um, he well, check, he can't the, 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 the animal. Animal. Why are you so sexist? Could be a she. Yeah. <laughs> it's unlikely. Oh, the possibility. Um, <laughs> yeah. Why <laughs> is that? Why 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 is that? You've got, to, you've got to sort of like appreciate that MN, this guy is purpley pink, and it tells you that it's producing a violet solution. 
which contains it, so it's going to be very difficult to have a colour change because they're of a, a similar colour. So, um, mo most of you are um, <coughs> stuck this one up. So, let's have a look at this one. What are you going to do, first of all? The first thing you're going to do is you're going to work out your moles of MnO4 minus, aren't you? That's what you've got to do. So, let's do that. Moles of MnO4 minus is... 2.25 times 10 to the minus 2 times 13.2 over 1,000. That equals 2.97 times 10 to the minus 4. Okay, so if we go back, that's the number of moles I used. So go back to this equation here. Yeah, this is what you know. One of those uses five electrons. So I'm now going to relate that. So how many moles of electrons did I have? It was vanadium. Times by five. I need to times that by five, don't I? 2.97 times 10 to the minus 4 times by 5. 1.485 times 10 to the minus 4. Real. That was in 10 centimetres cubed. What was the original solution? 50. In 50, so I need to times that by 5. five. So that's 7.425 times 10 to the minus 3 in 50. We're finding out the number of electrons. That's the moles of electrons. Okay. Why do you find the electrons? You'll see in a minute. I got the 1.485 as being in 50. Okay, I'll come back and have a look in a minute. Moles of... Moles of vanadium that we used. Um, vanadium we used 0.126 grams <coughs> and the molar mass of vanadium is 50.9 so I use 2.48 times 10 to the minus 3 moles of vanadium so that number of moles of vanadium reacted with that number of moles of electrons so do you do the ratio? yeah let's do the ratio Vanadium to electrons, 2.48 times 10 to the minus 3 to 7.425 times 10 to the minus 2. That's the smallest one. Minus 3. Oh, minus. That's the smallest one, isn't it? That's so I divide by that one. That comes to 1 and that comes to 3. So there were three electrons, therefore three electrons per vanadium. Therefore, I started it with it being BO3 minus. It became, what's the oxidation state of vanadium there? It's plus five. If it's gained three electrons, it must now be plus two. Two, so that's what it is. Okay, so they've given me this equation. I know now that I started with vanadium two plus. I ended up with it being BO three minus with three electrons. I've got oxygen this side. I haven't got any oxygen this side, so what can I add this side? H three H two O H two O here. Um, which means on this side I need to add in uh, some H pluses, don't I, as well. So I need three H2O there, which means I need six H plus there. Then it's nice and easy, isn't it? That equation you're going to times by three, and that equation you're going to times by five. So if I do that, that gives me these two equations here. And then I can add them together. But yeah, the electrons would definitely cancel, won't they? Other things are going to cancel as well. Can you see? Yeah, that 24 H plus will become 6 H plus there, and that 15 waters will become 3 waters there. So the overall equation is that plus that plus that gives me that. Plus that, plus that.